My name is Paul Walker. I'm the uh, director of the Environmental Security and Sustainability Program for an international non-governmental organization called Green Cross International. Uh, Green Cross International was founded in 1993 by Mikhail Gorbachev, uh, who still remains the founding chairman. And we're, in, uh, we're, we're headquartered in Geneva, Switzerland, uh, have been for a long time, and we have uh, national affiliates in about uh, 30 to 35 countries today. Uh, we're here at Rio Plus 20 in uh, Rio de Janeiro, uh, promoting uh, the Gorbachev theme, which he established Green Cross with years ago, that in fact we need a real value change. In other words, we need to uh, really create a, an effort globally how people treat the earth. Uh, we all tend to be supportive of environmental affairs, of sustainable development, of a sustainable uh, earth, but in fact, uh, we act very differently as human beings. So Green Cross and all of its affiliates, including Global Green USA in the United States, Green Cross Russia, Green Cross Japan, of course Green Cross Brazil here in Brazil, uh, are very much here to participate in many of the discussions and negotiations to try to promote sustainability. Now, the big question I think is really what is sustainability? The point I think in the few minutes <clears throat> that I have here to talk is that we need with whatever comes out of Rio Plus 20 to emphasize that environmental protection and protection of public health is extremely important. No matter whether we talk about green economies, whether we talk about, whether we talk about sustainable development, everything has to be linked to not only protecting the environment, but also cleaning up uh, the enormous environmental pollution that we've left from industrial and military waste and practices and also consumer and capitalist practices for the last hundred years in the 20th century. One of the biggest issues uh, that I am involved in personally as director of the security and sustainability program is on weapon stockpile destruction and redevelopment of, of polluted military lands. So we've been involved in for example the uh, destruction uh, an elimination of uh, nuclear warheads, of nuclear launch systems, submarines, missiles, uh, uh, long-range strategic bombers, uh, chemical weapons, of which there are, you know, we declared 72,000 tons globally in in uh, in seven countries around the world, and also uh, biological weapons and diseases, and conventional weapons, non-weapons of mass destruction. I think one of the other uh, points we want to make here at the Rio Plus 20 summit is there is a clear link between disarmament and development. Uh, we're coming down to the last few years of the Millennium Development Goals, what we call the MDGs, and as, as most people know, uh, we have not met most of those Millennium Development Goals by the, the final deadline, which is 2015. So as we begin to discuss the new Millennium Development Goals that come after 2015, we have to recognize the fact that if you want to, for example, decrease infant mortality, if you want to improve maternal mortality, uh, if you want to improve all of the other social indices which are part of the Millennium Development Goals, we have to engage in global demilitarization. Not simply uh, legal regimes which we are very supportive of and want to enforce such as the Chemical Weapons Convention, the Biological Weapons Convention, and the Comprehensive Test Ban Treaty and the Non-Proliferation Treaty, but also lesser known conventions such as the Arms Trade Treaty, such as the protocols uh, to the uh, International Atomic en Energy Agency, uh, which will in fact provide better security for communities and regions and countries all over the world. A healthy community is a secure community, and a secure community is a healthy community. And if you don't have a secure community, you won't have a healthy, sustainable community at all. So the, the message really of Green Cross uh, globally is that environment and public health come first, and this will inevitably mean uh, a value shift in how all of us operate in what we do in everyday life, how much water we use, how much uh, public transportation we use, how much fossil fuel we use, uh, how much uh, carbon emissions we make, how much we fly. Uh, whether we walk or bicycle. Uh, these are basic questions which I think Green Cross continues to promote globally and my hope is that in fact out of Rio plus 20, 20 years after the initial 1992 Rio meeting in which Green Cross International was conceived and, and really founded, formally established a year later by Mikhail Gorbachev, we will in fact realize some of these very uh, needed uh, and needed and very challenging Millennium Development Goals. If we do not meet these goals in our lifetimes and certainly the lifetimes of our children, then in fact I'm, I'm, I'm fearful that this earth may not have long 
to really be a healthy, healthy earth in which most of the population can live. Uh, with that, I wish everybody um, best wishes for, from Rio Plus 20 and uh, my wish that in fact we have a happy, healthy and uh, sustainable world in the foreseeable future.